And now for something completely different, we talked about aliens earlier. <laughs> so uh, George brought up Bob Lazar. I, I um, will likely probably talk to Bob Lazar on this podcast. And then, um, and then John had a, a skeptical look on his face about about aliens. So, so let me ask uh, John and Gordon: uh, Do you think there's intelligent alien civilizations out there in the universe outside of our own? The universe is unimaginably large. The idea that we are the only life forms in a cosmos as large as this is, I think, naive and foolish. Um, there's a very high likelihood that if life could evolve on this planet, that it could have done so on many, many other planets around the uh, around the cosmos. I think anyone who puts even a moment's thought into this would realize that there's almost certainly other forms of life out there. The real question with regards to the alien community is, um, have they got here and are they yeah. circling our planet in um, little silver sources and making observations and periodically stealing people for experimentation purposes. Doesn't have to be silver saucers, it could be different other <laughs> color saucers. Um, and that question, I'm, I'm, I'm not at all convinced, no. I, I didn't think. Recently, um, Navy footage has come out showing some very interesting phenomena. If you talk to almost any experienced pilot, they will tell you they've seen things in the upper atmosphere that are very difficult to explain. Uh, I'll be the first one to agree with you on this. There are some things out there that are extremely difficult to explain. Like literally UFOs, unidentified Yeah, I mean, objects. we just don't know what they are. But to go from the idea that there's things out there that we don't understand to there's like little creatures running around and, um, uh, and that these somehow exist, uh, I just reserve judgment. I just say I'm, I'm agnostic about these things. I think it's possible, but um, all the evidence that I've been shown so far was insufficient to come to any kind of definite conclusions. Until aliens land in Central Park on Tuesday afternoon at 3 p.m. and get out with little alien ray guns and start shooting people, I don't believe in many of the stories that get told. Well, what about if it's not little aliens with ray guns, but something very different, very, very difficult to detect for us humans, mm. us very human-centric well, creatures. At, at that point, it's a, it's a fascinating idea, and it's certainly possible, but show me the evidence. All right, what about you, Gordon? Do you, do you uh, look at the cosmos and ponder the stars often? I think it's fair points John raised. Uh, something really interesting I saw the other day was uh, someone posted like, if an alien organ or civilization 65 million light years away somehow managed to look at Earth, they would theoretically see the dinosaurs because they're 65 million light years mm -hmm. away. So like imagine us looking at galaxies that are 100 million light years away. That's 100 million years ago. You have no idea what it looks like now. Um, so that's what's super interesting to me about it. Yeah, the, the, the expanse is huge and so much cool stuff could be going out there. Yeah. And, um, the scary thing, of course, is if they haven't visited us yet, the there has to be a good reason for it. And the, the, the set of scary reasons of all the fact that they, maybe once it gets sufficiently advanced in your development, you destroy yourself naturally, as humans seem to be approaching now. We, we more and more have the tools to destroy ourselves completely in terms of our weapon systems. Um, and we're developing them more and more and they're becoming better and better and then we're starting to get angry and angry on Twitter and Instagram at each other. Mm. It's, those are good points you're raising. <laughs> uh, History has taught us that everything that lives one day will die, so we will, we will perish. One day, yeah. We will. There's also just the, the sheer difficulty of, um, of, of travel through space. Like space is an unimaginably inhospitable environment. And to the best of our knowledge, this even the theoretical speeds that we can attain in space, even if we could travel at the speed of light, we're not even remotely close to that. Still, the distances that need to be traveled to get to even relatively close solar systems are very, very long. If you look at astronauts who have spent significant amounts of time in space just orbiting the Earth, it has severe health effects on them. We're, we're just not built for space. We're supposed to be in a gravitational environment.